So I kind of have a look in mind. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. I'm gonna use a few of the matte shades from this palette. For my transition shade, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. This is Sandalwood. So I'm gonna keep applying the same shade until I get the desired depth of color that I want. And here's a quick tip, if you have any trouble like blending in your crease or if you don't have that much lid space and you can't really see what you're doing, take your mirror and look down instead of looking straight at the mirror. Take it and look down and then that way you'll be able to really see your crease and like where you need to blend. So now that I have my first transition color blended, I'm going to take a more tapered blending brush, this is from Sigma, and I'm going to take the color Henna. And I'm gonna put this directly into my crease, but below that sandalwood color that we used. So like right in here. Just to deepen things up a little. I think that's good for now. I'm gonna take this Naturally Yours palette by Zoeva and I'm gonna take this shade Slow Dance. It's like a really nice deep dark chocolate brown and I'm going to use this to deepen the outer V of my eye. And I'm going to bring in this chocolate color like a third of the way in from the outer corner. Just so that we get a nice transition between the gold that I'm going to put on the lid and this chocolate shade. I'm going to take the gold glitter gel and I'm going to put some on the back of my hand with my MAC 242. I'm going to apply this onto my lid. I think I'm gonna do like a half cut crease. Okay, so as I was doing this eye off camera, I noticed that it's better to have a base underneath for the glitter gels to have something to stick on. So I went ahead and used Magic Act. This is by Makeup Geek. It's like a gold, pure gold shadow. So I'm gonna use this shadow first to cut the crease and then we'll apply the glitter gel on top for more of a intense gold. I'm just patting on that glitter gel on top of the gold shadow. Don't worry too much about this outer corner here. I'm gonna put a darker black shade here and then blend it in to the gold. That way there's no harsh lines. So now I'm just gonna take a petite crease brush and some black shadow and I'm gonna place it really close to the lash line and then I'm gonna blend it in slowly into the gold. That way it goes from like gold to black. And now before I clean up, I'm just going to add a quick brow bone highlight. I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Graphic Lash Mascara by Zoeva. This is my first time trying it. Wow, this mascara is actually really nice. It separated my lashes really well. I'm going to tight line a little bit, that way we don't have any gaps of skin showing. And for lashes, I'm going to use these lashes by the brand Scandal Lashes, and this is in the style Daring Darla. So I haven't been using primers lately, just moisturizer, and then I apply my makeup, and I kind of like it that way. So today I'm going to use the Belief Aqua Balm Moisturizer. This stuff is so good for really, really dry skin. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and I'm in the shade 112. I've recently rediscovered this foundation, and I've been wearing it like every single day now. I just love the coverage and finish that it gives. And for concealer today, I'm also gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's just a little more hydrating than the Tarte one. Okay, and then I'm going to use this iconic pigment stick just to bronze a little bit. So I know 
looks a little crazy at first, but once you blend it out, it looks just fine. And now I'm gonna set with some MAC Studio Fix. This is NC30. So I'm gonna jump back and finish the eyes really quick using henna and sandalwood. I'm gonna buff this on my lower lash line. I'm also gonna add some black to my waterline. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush like this and pack it with some black shadow. And I'm basically going to buff out really, really close to the waterline. So I'm basically just smudging out that black that I put into the waterline. That way we have like a gradient effect going from black to brown. bronze a little bit I'm gonna use the in the saddle or a powder by Sigma I just got this one and the color of it is really nice and like cool tone so since the eyes are really dramatic I don't want to do a crazy like pink blush or anything so I'm gonna use Mac warm soul blush just to add like the tiniest amount of color to our cheeks and then to highlight, I'm first going to spray my face with this Gerard Mystified Hydrating Facial Mist. doesn't really matter, just spray your face and then apply your highlighter. That way it gives you a more intense glow. I really have to venture out and try different highlighters. I'm stuck using the Balm Mary Luminizer, like always. It's just, it's just one of my favorites. So that's basically it for the face. Now we just gotta put on a lip and I'm thinking of what, probably a nude, right? I think I'm gonna go with the Molly Cosmetics liquid lipstick. This is uh, the shade Fairy Tale. It's like a nude pink color. Yeah, it's really pink. I think I'm gonna add like lighter color on top so I added some honey love lipstick by Mac just to lighten it a little bit in the center and I believe that is it for this tutorial thank you guys for hanging out with me I love how this makeup look came out I really hope you guys try it out yourself